welcome back, Rippersnappers, to the next episode of the Good News Gang, The Fruits of the Spirit, Part 7, Faithfulness. Dude, I'm never going to get through the stinking assignment. What's the matter? Aw, oh, hey, Rob. It's English. My English teacher said I have to write five sentences using the word faithfulness. Dude, I don't even know what that means. And my mom said I can't go for ice cream until I'm done with my homework. Well, this is your lucky day, Duke. Yeah? Yep. You see, Duke, faithfulness is one of the fruits of the Spirit. We can help you with your homework and teach the kids the next fruit of the Spirit. Well, cool beans, bud. Let's rock. Okay, kids. Here is the way we'll do this. Every time you see me give the signal, you say faithfulness. Let's give it a tryout. Here's the signal. Faithfulness. Okay, first sentence. The dog showed faithfulness by sitting and waiting for the boy to get home from school. Got it. Hey, Rob, how do, did the dog show faithfulness? Oh, well, by waiting for his owner, the boy, to get home. The dog could have been romping and playing or chewing a bone, but instead he waited patiently for his boy to get home because he knew playing with him would be more fun than any of those things. Oh, cool. I think I'm going to get a feel for what faithfulness means. Next sentence. Now remember, kids, help me out when you see me give the signal. Because of her faithfulness, Jenna stood next to her friend even when she was in trouble. Good one, Rob. How does faithfulness come into play here? Well, by sticking with her friend, even through bad times, Jenna was a faithful friend. She stayed friends with her through good times and bad. Oh, I think I get it. Let me do the next one. Bob showed his... Rob, give him the signal. Faithfulness. By giving some of his weekly allowance to his church, but he used the rest to buy Skittles and Spider-Man comic books. How's that? Pretty good, Duke. Faithfulness is also when you do something that is not always easy to do because it doesn't make sense to others. Giving away money to the church when you could use it for stuff you want might look weird or silly to some people, but it makes Jesus happy when we give to his work. It is one way to show your faithfulness. Okay, Rob. I am on a roll, bud. Listen to this. Duke showed his righteousness awesome totally cool rob give him the signal faithfulness by going to church anyway when he was sleepy on sunday morning because he stayed up watching the late late monster movie marathon ah -ha 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 -ha. that's great duke but is that sentence really true Ja, i never miss king kong versus godzilla kong rocks bud i see that's a good example of faithfulness. Sometimes there are things we would rather be doing than serving God and going to church. But when we go anyway, it is pleasing to God. It shows that we are faithful to Him. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, I need one more sentence. Here it goes. We can show our... Rob, give him the signal. Faithfulness. By telling others about Jesus. Duke, that's a masterpiece. It's your best sentence yet. Tell us how that shows faithfulness. Well, Rob, in the Bible, in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, because it is the power of God to save everyone that believes. So to me, that says, even when people make fun of you for being a Christian, you need to stand up for Jesus. He died for us, so it's the least we can do. You said it, Duke. Hey, Rob, I'm all done with my homework. You know what that means it's time for? Ice cream! Yeah, buddy! Woohoo! Thank you 
for joining us at the Good News Gang. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we look forward to seeing you again next week for the next episode with the Good News Gang. Bye, everybody. Bye.